Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The Lost Jetty here. Today we are playing The Lights Went Out. This is a short horror experience by 616 Games on itch.io. Um, as I will formerly said, it is self denoted as a short horror experience with a bizarre story narrated by the victim himself. Now, I'm not going to go into more detail just to avoid spoilers and all that. So, without further ado, Let's get right into the game and see what it has to offer us. Hey, what's up, Olo? Saw myself out the window. My name is Oliver, and it's not easy to tell the story. About how we killed a man? I worked nights at the gas station every day. <clears throat> I took the same route with my car. I crashed my car into a bridge. I don't care. But that night, I discovered what the heck is what heck is and that's how the lights went out I stopped on the road to take a leak and it was already wait late for work I needed to keep driving oh hello I'm, I'm, I'm in control now WASD no jump. Can I just play in traffic? The moon looks cool. Let's see if we can't get back right right back in the driver's seat. Eat or interact. Alright, try to crank her over one more time. Still no noise. Is it gonna tell me to? Uh, oh, there we go. To get out of the car, I was like, I don't know if I should know to get out and realize the car's not running. Working at night is not easy. It seemed like I was always tired. Darn truth. Can I drive an oncoming? Is it gonna? Yeah, it's gonna let me. Uh, yeah, yeet myself into oblivion. I swear, officer. I am not drunk driving. It should have taken my car to the mechanic. It had been showing defects for a long time. Yeah, officer, my car has a defect, and therefore that's what's causing me to drive in oncoming. Can I do like a Tokyo Drift out here? Uh, but I wasn't used to solving my problems so quickly. I was settled in following routine. Ouch, that's a little too close to home. Stay hungry, my friends. Still just a little dancing car syndrome. You know, when you got your favorite... Oh, I was going to say, when you got your favorite song on and you're just chilling. Although, are we going to just block both lanes with a car in the middle of the road? I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. This road is long and inhospitable. Didn't know I got my Scrabble words today. I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay. Actually, I was just staring at the at the void. <laughs> it was the road. Okay, so I'm perfectly blocking both roads. Um, I'm going to do nothing about this and leave my car right there. Good luck, everybody else. Uh, hopefully, you noticed not to hit that. All I'm realizing here is that A, my computer screen is very dirty. B, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I keep looking at these stars in the distance and thinking that they're uh, animal eyes. Then I remember there, there was a house near here. I see it every day. Well, thank you, self. But you know what I don't remember? A house near here? I don't know memories that I've never had. Also, the car is getting very far away. Well, the car is basically gone. After walking a little, I saw the house. I decided to go there and ask for help. I'm glad you say you see the house. Because I... Oh, no, that is in fact the house. <laughs> right. The blind man finds the house. Understood. Let me just walk every which way over the front lawn. It looked like a normal house, but it didn't see anyone. The lights are on. And there are an infinite amount of moths. Dude, get an, get an exterminator ASAP, please. 
Um, I'd like to walk onto your porch. I knocked on the door and no one answered. The moths are inside the house. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yep. Right, so we're just gonna go breaking into a house that we don't know who it is and then beg for forgiveness after the fact. Seems like a grand old plan to me. There was an open door and I decided to go in. Great, home invasion. Here we are. Oh, there's the open door. Sorry about using your lounge chair, sir or madam that owns this house. No vehicle, so they're probably just not home. The house had a strange energy and smell, a horrible smell. No interactive light switches. Okay, very nice laundry room. Lots of moths, dude. Have you taken out the garbage ever in your life? The house really looked abandoned. I needed a phone to call for help. Well, you've got a uh, dated TV, but everything else seems modern in here, so not sure what that is. Okay, phone. I'm sorry, but doesn't everyone have a phone in their kitchen? Isn't that like a standard uh, standard uh, item? Or are we uh, past that? We have old TVs, old radios, but a, a corded phone in the kitchen. Nah, that, that doesn't exist. Right. Hello, sir or madam that's probably dead upstairs. Do you have a phone? You've got a lovely toilet seat and candles. The smell was unbearable on the second floor. It seemed to be something rotten. Yeah, dude, dead person? Hello, what is I looking for the dead body? Oh, good, good, good. I regret everything yup 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 well whatever i will never forget that oh lovely dismembered body lots of blood i need to run away from there dude i am dead this is what i get mm -hmm. stairwell staircase yep jesus christ i ran down the stairs but there was someone standing there waiting for me He wore black clothes and a sinister mask, so I ran back up the stairs again. I was very scared. I couldn't think straight. I decided to hide in a closet. No. No. It's like you jump out the window or you get filleted <laughs> like a real man. Like, what do you want to say? Suddenly, I started to hear some footsteps. I can only th see through. Oh, you're gonna put me through this again? I can only see through a gap in the closet door. But I was going to die. My death was imminent. Hi, fam. You wanna uh, get this over with? Oh God, I decided to come out of the closet. I needed to go get away from there as quickly as possible. I, I tried that the first time and it didn't work out so well. Oh, we're downstairs now. Garage door was closed. I was trapped inside the house. Dude, there's only like seven other doors. Front door. Garage door is open. That's fine. I'm out of here, suckers. You never saw me. It was like I was never here. I can't see a darn thing, by the way. Don't adjust. Well, I'll, I'll adjust in post, but don't adjust your screens. It is super dark. I ran towards my car, scared to death. I felt like someone was watching me. Sure, dude. Watch me all you want.
I am going to play in traffic like a real man. Moon looks nice. Lovely day to die, I suppose. Are you a jump scare? Jump scare? Oh. Delightful. The sound effects. Real good. For some reason reason he left my, me alive, but my life changed forever. Did not did not sound like I was alive. In fact, it sounded like the exact opposite of that. As he cut my face, he said, "I'm giving you meaning to your life." Um it doesn't quite work like that. I loved seeing the landscapes and I loved seeing sunlight reflecting on the plants. Now I live in the dark, always hiding in the shadows, but I can't give myself up. So I said to myself, yeah, so I said to myself, So I said to myself, the lights went out. Is that what he said to himself? Okay. <laughs> well, there's a lot to unpack there. I'm not quite sure if, uh, if it was supposed to be like he lost his uh, eyeball. He got his eye snapped out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the lights went out. I hope you guys did like the video. If you want to play it for yourself, a link to it will be in the description box down below. Go check it out. Go give 616 Games some love. Uh, always good to give indie developers some love. But for now, guys, that's all we got time for. As always, this has been your host, The Lost Eddie, and I hope to get you guys in the next episode.